Okay, we all remember how huge the Twilight movies were, and they made Taylor Lautner an overnight celebrity. But being thrust into the spotlight wasn't so easy for him. And our pal Jason Kennedy, who we adore. We love him. You've been our the baby brother of this show for so long. It's eight years. Your wife's of having a baby. We're thrilled to have you, and Thank we're so you. excited that you got to sit down with Taylor. Uh, Taylor, and we were just talking in the commercial break. Yeah. I mean, Twilight was huge. Yeah. I mean, these fans would go to the premiere five days in advance, yeah. set up a 10. And Taylor and I had great conversations about fame off camera, but he's never really opened up like this. I'm so proud of him. <laughs> I think it's going to help a lot of people. Take a look. Taylor Lautner was just 16 years old when he found himself in the middle of a pop culture phenomenon after Twilight hit theaters. The film franchise, which co-starred Kristen Stewart and Robert Pattinson, brought in over $3 billion at the box office, making the trio some of the most sought-after movie stars in the world. And while Taylor is very grateful for the opportunities that came his way, he has, by choice, been noticeably absent from the spotlight for the last few years. I caught up with my buddy right here in New York City. We've had some really incredible private conversations about fame and everything you've experienced. I'm just curious what that did for you emotionally, how that affected you now that you've had years to process. Not many things in life can come and happen overnight. Fame can, it also can, it can disappear overnight. When I was 16, 17, 18 years old, waking up and trying to just go out for a walk or, you know, go on a date and, you know, I have 12 cars waiting outside my house to follow me wherever I'm going or, you know, when you show up to an airport or anywhere and you have, you know, thousands of fans screaming. In the moment, it's like, it got frustrating um, because you, you just wanted to live a normal life. But then when that's taken away from you at all, you start to go, you start to question yourself and start to be like, oh, do people not care about me anymore? And it goes away a little bit. You, you notice it and that's, that's, that's the dangerous part because that can really mess with your mind. You told me that you didn't go to a grocery store, movie theater, mall for 10 years which shocked me when you went back for the first time to say the grocery store. Yeah. I know you love the grocery store now, by the way, you go like five <laughs> times a week, but do you remember that feeling? Yeah, it felt like freedom. Um, I went so many years, like either not leaving my house or if I did, you know, hat, sunglasses, you know, and just like, like scared. It, it just, it built up something inside of me where, where even if I, I didn't know it, but I was scared to go out. I'd get super anxious to go out. Um, so I just didn't. You lived with your parents, you isolated for a bit, you took time away from Hollywood. Do you feel like this was the time that you needed to process, recover, whatever you want to call it? It was needed for me personally. So I, Taylor, feel so much better today than I, I, I have in the last four or five years. Now he's back and starring in the new Netflix film Home Team, out Friday. It's the true story about Sean Payton, the, the head coach of the New Orleans Saints. He ended up going back to his, his small town in Texas he was from, um, helping coach his 12-year-old son's Peely football team and, and brought them to the state championship game. Um, so it's a pretty cool story. You also may not know that in Taylor's personal life, there may be some name confusion around the house. You are engaged. Her name is Taylor. When you get married, her name will be Taylor Lautner. <laughs> that became like a thing on social media. It is incredibly important to point out that Taylor was, is a massive Twilight fan. I'm gonna call her out here. She was not Team Jacob. So she is, she is marrying the other team. Who, which team was she on? Oh, she was Team Edward all the way. She was a Robbie Pats fan? Oh yeah. This still, is still unbelievable, is. breaking news. I don't even know if I knew that. <laughs> yeah, she was diehard Team Edward, um, but you know, I've converted her. It's been an honor to watch you guys walk together. She is the greatest of the great. She was a large part of uh, getting me back, you know, to where I am today. Life is clearly different for Taylor these days. He found his person, he has a great film coming out, and a new appreciation for the simple things in life. Looking back, was the fame worth it? Four or five years ago, I would have said, maybe I wish that I didn't go through it, but if you ask me now, I say, 
No, I, I am, I'm happy because of what it's taught me. And it's made me who I am right now. For that, I'm, I'm thankful. Isn't it nice to hear uh, men talk like that? Yes. We need more guys talking like that because it's so relatable. And he's doing great. He's thriving now, like I said. You know, and, you know yeah. it was on full display there for me? Your friendship with him. Mm -hmm. Because I could not see him speaking like that to anybody but you. And your friendship runs years, doesn't it? Yeah, thanks for saying that. Yeah, probably about 10 years now. And uh, he, he felt comfortable with me. And it's, that was big for him to do. You know, no one really knows that side of him. So I'm proud of him. And I just want to shout out the PhD Terrace at the Dream Midtown for hosting us. And by the way, home team Hoda, oh, so you're going to love it. It's so good. It's about your saints. Yes. And how about this timing? Sean Payton yeah. just announced Insane that he was Insane timing for the movie. Oh Friday on Netflix. It's coming out. Tomorrow. Wow. Jason, okay, Jason. You're so we, good. We're going to invite you back to have a seat in that chair Please? many times we want to come. More. Okay, yeah. I'll give you more. Whatever you want. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.